Hey guys, this is Nick from HTC Source, and this is our unboxing of the HTC Desire I. The packaging of the HTC Desire I is pretty generic. We have an AT&T logo here on the front, HTC Desire I picture on the back, but that's pretty much it. But the box isn't what's important, it's what's inside, so let's take a peek. And there we have it, the HTC Desire I is sitting right there on the front. I'm going to take this out. And we'll set it to the side and take a look at what else is inside the box. We have a USB to micro USB cable right there, standard HTC wall adapter, instruction manuals, AT&T setup guides, quick start guide there, and then we have a cross promotional piece for the HTC Re. AT&T is actually selling the Re and the Desire I together with a $50 discount. So if you're in the market for the Re, I definitely recommend you check that out. Uh, it gives you the Re for $150 versus $200, which is quite a steal. But we're going to put these back in and take a look at the phone. So here we have the HTC Desire I. Uh, just to do a quick spec overview, we have a 5.2 inch display, 1080p, front facing, 13 megapixel camera with dual LED flash, and that's the main attraction of the HTC Desire I. It's being, being dubbed as the ultimate selfie phone by HTC, and we have seen quite a few pictures taken with the front facing camera. We've got to play with it in New York about a month ago, and it is quite impressive. It's a lot better than what we've seen from the HTC One M8 with its 5 megapixel shooter, but uh, it's yet to be seen if that's going to be a main draw for people actually buying this phone. As you can see here, right below the camera and between the camera and the display, there's this little slit here. This is actually where HTC has hid the boom sound speakers there on the front, and you can see it again here on the bottom. We'll be taking some macro shots of it later on to give you a better idea of what it actually looks like. On the back we have a 13 megapixel camera, again dual LED flash, we have a USB, sorry not a USB, a micro SD card slot, SIM card slot there as well, micro USB port for charging and data, dedicated camera button here which is really important, power button and volume rocker, and standard 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. This phone is actually water resistant can be submerged into one meter of water for up to 30 minutes so you can take underwater pictures and that's one of the reasons why they have the dedicated camera button because if you ever tried to use a water resistant phone underwater using the capacitive display it doesn't really work so well and that's our quick look at the HTC Desire Eye